Hi, I'm Mike Schatzky, principal and founder of Negotiation Dynamics. And we're gonna talk today about another tip on how to negotiate a great deal on a new car. We're gonna to talk today about your biggest club. That is your biggest negotiating weapon. And that is your feet, okay? You know, there's an old story. Guy was walking along with a, with a mule. All right, and that mule is very stubborn. He wouldn't move, right? So the farmer's kicking the mule and hitting the mule, and you know, mule really can be darn stubborn. That mule wasn't moving. This whole guy walks up with a cane. He says, son, you're never gonna get that mule to move like that. You gotta be kind to the mule. You gotta be nice to the mule. You know what you're doing with that mule. So the farmer says, all right, you make him move. So the old guy walks up to the mule, takes his cane and goes whomp on the head of the mule. Then he says, nice mule, no, come on mule. Of course, the mule at this point is like, sure, anything you say, pal. You know, one farmer comes running up, says, wait a minute, wait a minute. You said you were going to be nice to my mule. You be kind to me. You practically killed my mule. He says, but son, you don't understand. First, you've got to get their attention. Okay? So sometimes when you're dealing with car dealerships, you're dealing with, well, sort of muley sort of people. They don't get it. You're going to get that car at their bottom line end of discussion. And sometimes you have to get their attention. And sometimes the only way to get their attention and make them realize that they have absolutely no choice but to sell it to you at their bottom line is to head for the door because heading to the door is the equivalent of hitting that mule over the head. So you are in control of that device, that club, and it's your two feet. Now, when you leave, you got to be careful. Do it nice. See, we do what we call a soft walkout. It's like, gee, I'm sorry, we don't seem like we're making progress here. Doesn't seem like it's going to work. You know, if you have a change of heart, give me a ring. You know, I'll be in. If I haven't already bought a car, I'd be happy to talk. In other words, go through like the nice, soft leave. Don't say, you know, I'm out of here. You know, I don't want to deal with you anymore. Because, you know, it's all tactics on their part. They'll come around, or if they don't, you go on to the next. Um, but yeah, then, and a lot of times what happens is you start to leave and then they say, oh, no, 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 maybe we can do something else. Let me go talk to them back, back to talk to them. Yeah, you just clobber them over the head and suddenly they're willing to move. They're not being quite so mulish. And if ultimately they won't leave, go on to the next, the next dealer will sell you the car at the bottom line. What's the bottom line? Well, for everything you need to know to figure out the dealer's bottom line and a complete roadmap on how to negotiate a great deal on a new car, hop on over to negotiationdynamics.com newcar.asp. And I'll see you next time.